I'm up in the attic um, on this dual zone system and one of the damper motors failed. That one is the downstairs zone one right there, the blue color wire. And this is the uh, zone two. Uh, it's normally open and then gets the command from the control unit to close it as needed, depending on which zone is calling for uh, heating or cooling. So this one for now, we only use uh, zone two uh, for cooling. So this is, I removed it. This is, uh, has gone bad. I tested it with the external unit. It's not working anymore. Just draws the power and gets hot. So instead of replacing with the same type of uh, motor, which is like a normally open when the command comes to close it, so the motor has to keep running uh, to make it, it closed. So here is the damper motor, which is uh, kind of like um, right now it's normally open. So as I push it, it's a quarter turn to close it. So that's what uh, this here does. And uh, so I'm going to remove uh, this uh, kind of like holder and then remove the black color uh, that's the black and then the screws just so I have the, just the shaft of the damper door and I'm going to use this new device. It's the same price as the Synchron uh, motor and this is a Belimo. Uh, this unit uh, can be programmed to do, uh, you don't need a spring anymore. So it can be programmed to do open and close on command. My system supports uh, both open and close. So I'm going to be replacing that uh, with this new unit. So just looking at it, I'm going to dismantle this, take four screws, uh, take this off and then uh, take until I can see. I'm going to mark uh, the close position and the open position of the shaft. I actually have an opening here, so that should help. Uh, but for the other side, I have to mark it because I'm not going to be able to go to the other side to see, just get a feel and mark the spots of open and close. So this motor can be set. They have some sets, screws here. And um, and then this uh, here, right here, I don't know if it's visible on the camera. Uh, now it's, right now it's set to like closed position. Zero is closed, one is open. So it travels from um, uh, closed to open, right? So that way it's uh, close to open zero one. So for this side, this is, uh, I think I need to move this to the right now in an open position. Uh, and then you're gonna come back to the you know, closed position. Um, so I'm gonna figure that out, uh, how far it can go and all those things. So hopefully it doesn't take long. If I'm just looking tonight, it's about I think 7 p.m. now. I'll spend a few more minutes just to get it prepped and then come back tomorrow and complete it. To start with, I'm gonna remove these screws. I actually have six of them. There is a spring. Got to remove the spring. There you go. Come on out. There. There you go. That's off. And then, so that's the closed position. So I'm gonna mark that spot. Uh, I think I gotta take these set screws and everything out before I can mark that. So. Let's take a closer look. Right there. A little bit more light. Right there. So I'm gonna remove that black piece. Right there. This one. And then um, this Allen uh, screw. So that can take the whole thing off. And just so the shaft is the only thing that's remaining. And before I can proceed to the next step. We have the the Allen key, Allen, Allen bolt, uh, unscrewed and uh, can gently lift it up. This is out. This 
so there's the shaft so we can mark the position i'm going to use a um, marker to say right now be sure yeah, it's in the close part that's in the close part so this is the close position so i'm going to mark it here see and then open open it's uh, right there a quarter turn so from the close position is open so that's open so i marked it so we don't want to make sure the new unit is set because it's going to drive um, both the open and close there is no spring involved so we want to make sure the motor doesn't try to uh, go past that position so we have to set the set screw so i marked the spot now i can go back and the travel is uh, uh, the motor comes with a travel from uh, close to open and clockwise so i need to reverse that so and uh, as close as it should be coming from uh, clockwise closed is in there and should be coming anti-clockwise this way to open so so that's the difference this is closed and that's open so you can see the adapter uh, from the limo is a long shaft and it goes in like so before that i want to use some silicon lubricant so make sure that uh, we have enough lubrication in there. It looks like it's okay. It's uh, look, it's moving freely. So I'm gonna use this with the long shaft. I think it should be coming on the bottom. So that's in the close part. So let me put it here in this close part. We're gonna loosen this a little bit more. It's closed. Make sure the decoration close. I wanna make sure it travels. It's gonna travel the other way. So this is what I'm gonna tighten it. So here is what I have figured out. So this is the closed position of the damper. And then um, this is the open, open position. So here it says zero and one. Normally the zero is closed, one is um, uh, open. But in this case, since the closed position is here, uh, from the closed position, you have to go anti-clockwise to come. So it basically translates to one as a closed and two, uh, zero as open so that means from the closed position the motor has to turn anti-clockwise to come to the return uh, or the open position so i have to set the set screws based on that um, so i'm going to make the connections and uh, explain a little bit more in detail and we'll also take a look at the damper and i have a power um I think this uh, puts out up to 36 volts so i'm gonna set it to 24 and then try to uh, operate it make sure uh, that the the pin is common number one number two is open number three is closed uh, supply the power and make sure it works properly before i move on to the second one so let's go i have uh, the closed position of that i've mapped it to number one um, so I'm able to uh, push the clutch and then freely rotate this. Since I'm holding the camera, I don't have an easy way of uh, demoing it. Um, but uh, I will, once uh, I'm done with it, we're going to test it and also watch the damper, how it moves with the power. So this is the... We call it zero position, one position. Since the way this move from closed, it's moving anti-clockwise to come to open. So I have to uh, connect the uh, 
number one to the closed position so that way when it moves anti-clockwise it comes into open and i can move the set screw right here to adjust it so it doesn't go past the maximum open allowed um, these motors are pretty powerful so you got to be very careful about that so that's the uh, very important procedure making sure it is set for the travel proper using these set screws so i have set the um open and close position so the closed you can see the mark c i have c over there that is the closed position and then right now it's in fully open position it's a little it's not a full quarter turn uh, i looked inside so this is the ideal position for um, the airflow proper airflow so i've set it like that now i have to secure um, the anti-rotation uh, uh, like strip on this piece secure it to that so this is the only metal piece that's the only place i can all the other places are not there's an insulation so i have to secure and then um, i should be able to go into testing we're looking at zone two damper door and uh, we the supply 12 volts to command to open which is terminal two on this so you can see it will open you can see it's open opening this is just about now stop there that's the maximum open position and i'm going to switch to command to close there's a terminal three on the bellimo there is no spring involved and once it's in close it'll stop drawing power you won't hear the motor anymore so this one is all set we are done let's take a look so there's the unit all i have to do is wire the common to here and then the open to terminal two and then close to terminal three and all set i used a lubricant and then i have remaining the other one it's actually working now so I may defer it for later, but I have uh, another one of these. So this worked great, less power, and probably lost a lot longer. So I'm done. This now completed the wiring, but as I'm tightening the um, open, since it's normally open, it's gonna open. Watch. So it's gonna leave it in the opens, and then on command, so right now it's an open. Let's take a look at the upper. So with the spring-loaded mechanism, the system is uh, designed for normally open. So there is a uh, voltage on the open uh, trigger. So it went into open mode. So it's gonna stay open until um, the zone one request. This is zone two. The zone one request uh, cold air or hot air. And then that zone two is not required. And the system will send a 12, 24 volts on um, the close, which is uh, uh, channel three or the third one here, and then it'll close. So, and uh, the only time it uses power is when the voltage is present. And then once it's hit the limit, it stops kind of using power. So this is also energy efficient. There you go. Wiring is complete. Let's take a look at the panel. There it is. There is a zone one damper right there. Right now it's only a common and a close M1 and M6. There's an M4 for open. If you look at the zone two damper, I have connected white for the common and uh, yellow for the open and then uh, red for the close position. So. So this is uh, zone two, all done, works great. I'm going on to zone one, which is downstairs. I'm gonna remove the synchron motor and the holder, as well as the set screw, and get the new one in place. Hopefully it doesn't take uh, more than half an hour. Now, uh, the zone one is all connected. Ready to go. The wiring on that side is done. Uh, the common, uh, the open, which is yellow, and then the red for close. 
So I've already connected the closed one, but this is uh, normally open. So I'm gonna connect the open and then you should see that go from close to open position. Ready to go, hold on. It's in open position right now. That's it, this one is done too. I'm going to put the system into test mode. Let's see what happens. So, damper open. When is this close? So, there you go, the zone one is closing. As I'm controlling it from the system now, I'm gonna go open. It's opening. That's uh, for zone one. And let's go to zone two. Let's close. See, moving into close position. Then open we need to open done I'm all done both the damper motors have been changed um, and tested so hopefully this works out well